So I'll tell you something funny about Lord of the Rings. I, I tried maybe three or four times to read Lord of the Rings and could not get through it. It's too long. Uh, every time I got to the council scene that went on for 100 pages telling the long histories and languages of these cultures that didn't exist because there are, are no elves or orcs or anything like that, I would just think, really? I mean, I have to listen to all of this stuff? You uncultured swine! And people love this book. Finally, finally, I made my way through it. It has some beautiful, beautiful descriptive writing. It has some wonderful scenes. But really, there's a lot of uh, depth of, the, of, of storytelling and scholarship that almost seems crazy to me. So I was not a big fan of it. When the movie came out, uh, I was in the movie business at the time, so I got previews to it maybe months before it came out. And I thought it would be cool to take my son, Spencer Clavin, no relation, uh, who was then a little boy. I thought it would be cool if he could see the movie before all his friends did. So I thought, oh, this is going to be awful. I've got to go down and watch this film of this book that I didn't really love that much. I just loved it. I thought it was one of the best movies I'd ever seen, certainly one of the best movies since The Godfather. Uh, and I just, I couldn't wait for the next one to come out and the next one. And I thought the trilogy was just absolutely terrific. Well, now, because Hollywood, you know, there's a, 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 famous, <coughs> a famous play called, I think it's called Burn This, in which somebody says, Hollywood ruins everything. The power of pain compels you! Ah! And if, they, if by some accident they don't ruin it, they remake it. Uh, well, now there's a sequel of Lord of the Rings coming out. It's called Rings of Power. I think it's based on a, also based on a J.R.R. Tolkien prequel to Lord of the Rings, uh, but it hasn't, it won't come out until September, but they've released a promo. I have not seen the promo, but I'm told that I should watch, if I watch it on screen, uh, I'll have something to say about it. So I'm going to watch it on screen right now. Haven't you ever wondered what else is out there? There's wonders in this world beyond our wandering. I have to say that actually looked spectacular. I mean, the special effects in it were spectacular. I see a woman with a sword. The danger zone. Don't put a woman with a sword in it. She'll just get herself hurt. I'm really sorry they're doing that. I was a little bit afraid that it's going to be woke, you know, like like Gandalf would go off and be killed by a dragon and come back as, as Mrs. Gandalf or something like that. I don't know if it's going to have dueling women uh, and uh, gay Gandalf. I, I'm done. Uh, but... That's all I can say. I don't want to condemn it offhand. Uh, I can see it's uh, obviously everything now has to include all uh, races and sexualities in it. So that's how we know. Uh, I remember that J.R.L. Tolkien was, of course, a devout Catholic, and uh, and his story is a Christian story, no matter what they tell you. Uh, but actually, I got to say, I was I was waiting for something to I was waiting to really be offended by that. But actually, it just looked so beautiful. Uh, I hope it's as good as it looks. If you want more Claveny content, subscribe and like, and subscribe to The Andrew Claven Show wherever you get your podcasts.